In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we gather now on the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And in the sacred scriptures today, we are reminded that our loving God comes to us to give us food for the journey, to sustain us and strengthen us, especially in those moments of trial and struggles in our lives. It is the same Lord Jesus who comes to us now in this Eucharist to give us the bread of life, the bread that lasts for all eternity. Let us pause now for a moment to open our hearts to God's loving presence as we pause to confess our sins and ask for his, his peace, his pardon, and grace. Lord Jesus, you are the living bread that came down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Father to bring life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree, but then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, 
compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over to us, for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven. Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever had one of those mornings when you're running a little bit behind schedule to get to work or school or an appointment and you grab a piece of toast or maybe skip breakfast altogether? And then well before lunchtime, your stomach probably reminded you the consequences of that decision. You noticed that your energy level was drooping. It was hard to concentrate, to to be productive, productive, to complete the task at hand. In such moments of awareness, we are mindful how essential physical nourishment is to sustaining the basic survival and the activities that we think of as life. Today, my friends, we are reminded as our bodies require physical food, so too does our spiritual life also need to be nourished if we are able and even even able to fulfill the commands to love God and to love our neighbor. In today's gospel, we hear the wondrous pronouncement that God the Father provides the spiritual sustenance in Jesus, who is the very bread of life. 
the Father draws us to Jesus, that we might believe in him, to follow his way during life, and through him receive eternal life. With infinite grace and mercy, God offers us the invitation to eternal life and gifts us with the means to respond. Today's gospel is preceded by the story of the prophet Elijah's flight into the desert. The first reading highlights how God provides for us so that we can respond to his call and indeed do his will for us. We hear of the prophet's journey to Horeb, the mountain of God. Elijah at the time was dealing with a whirlwind of political and religious turmoil. He was despondent and exhausted. Instead of forging ahead, Elijah falls to the ground and tells God that he is not going to continue, that he's going to give up rather than pressing on to the mountain. God then sends an angel to deliver food and water and to not so gently order Elijah to get up and eat and drink because he has a divine appointment and God gives them the strength to, to push forward and to do all that God asked of him. In much the same way, as God provided for Elijah, we recall how God supplied manna to the Israelites to sustain them on the Exodus journey to the Promised Land. In today's Gospel, Jesus is speaking to the crowd who are following him, in part because they witnessed the first miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fish. Jesus reminds them that on the Exodus journey, their ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died because it was just physical food. Jesus then goes on to tell the crowd that what they were experiencing now in his presence was more than physical food. The food that they are receiving is a miracle because God is providing through Jesus the living bread that will sustain them on their spiritual journey and give them eternal life. In today's gospel, we hear God's invitation to us as we gather here at Our Lady of Victory Basilica to partake of the bread that comes down from heaven and to be nourished on our spiritual journey through this life to eternal life. Oftentimes, we can feel like Elijah of old and simply get overwhelmed and tired and want to give up. Or like our ancestors, the Israelites, we can easily grumble against God as to why we may be enduring certain stresses and losses in our life and how God seems to be so far away from us. But my friends, it is precisely in those moments when we, we, we need to realize how much we need the Eucharist, the real presence of Christ, to nourish us and to sustain us and to remind us of how close the Lord Jesus is to each one of us every time we come forward in faith and trust and to receive him as we do spiritually today in this Eucharist. And so we are also reminded that once we have received the Lord Jesus, the very bread of life, it is incumbent upon us to go forth and in the words of St. Paul today, to be kind to one another, to be compassionate, to be forgiving of one another as God has forgiven us in Christ. God comes to nourish us once again today to continue his mission in the world today, loving and serving all of our brothers and sisters, all those people that God places in our lives. May we pause today to be ever grateful to God for the gift of the Eucharist and on God's unconditional love and mercy and the assurance that as we believe in him, and partake of the body and blood of Christ, we shall truly live forever. Amen.
And together now we pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in, in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, taking comfort in God's bountiful provisions, let us humbly bring our prayers to the Lord. For all baptized in the church, may the Holy Spirit aid us in our imitation of Christ's sacrificial love and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are serving in government and civic leadership, May the Lord give them hearts of compassion and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those overwhelmed by life's circumstances and difficulties, may the peace of Christ bring them relief and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us here, may the Lord help us grow in compassion toward one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they bask in the eternal light of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, please listen to our prayers and grant all that is good. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. With the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven and Heaven earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And may that peace now enter your hearts and your homes and all with whom you share peace today. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant Let us peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, under my roof but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. And our prayer now for Father Baker's canonization. Lord, Lord you, you gave, gave us, us your, your servant, servant Nelson, Nelson Baker, Baker as an example of service to the poor, poor homeless, and young. By, by Father, Father Baker's, Baker's ardent concern for those in need, Inflame our hearts and lives with compassion for the poor, justice for the oppressed, hope for the troubled, and courage to those in doubt. We pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Victory, if it be your will, that your servant, Nelson Baker, may one day be canonized. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.